Hi there, welcome back. Uh, the next section in Chapter 3 is looking at compound inequalities. And here we're really concentrating on the use of the word and, and the other word is or. And when we use the word and, both statements must be true. And when we use the word or, either one can be true. It probably doesn't make much sense yet. So let's look at some examples. So here's an example that uses the word or. And what we want to do is try to solve this, which means simplify it as much as we can. So one statement is that 2x minus 7 is greater than 13, or 5 minus x is greater than or equal to 9. So suppose we solve each of these, and I'll, and I'll just skip to the end. If we solve the first, the left side, we get x is greater than 10, or if we solve here, we get x is less than or equal to minus 4. So check my work. So this means that the possible solutions for the original inequality are either greater than 10 or less than or equal to minus 4. So for example, 12 would work. 12 would make this statement true and uh, minus 6 would work. Minus 6 would make that statement true but say over here 2 would not. 2 would not be either one of those. In other words, 2 is not does not make this true, and 2 does not make that true. All right, so think about that, see if you have questions, and let's move on a little bit. All right, so here's a even more complicated looking compound inequality, and here we're using the word and. And so what we want to do is solve both of these. So if I solve the left side, I believe you get x is less than 19. And if you solve the right side, go ahead, press pause and check it yourself and see what you get. You should get x is greater than or equal to 5. So what this is saying is the solution is any value which is less than 19 and greater than or equal to 5. So if I graph this, here's 0, here's 5, here's 19. So less than 19 looks like that. Greater than or equal to 5 looks like that. And the solution is simply those places where both of them are true. So let me do the solution in blue. And it would look like this to there. A little bit less than there, but you get it. And so the way I would write that solution in one statement is x is greater than or equal to 5 and less than 19. And that's the way to write a compound inequality using and. So the way that this translates is x is greater than or equal to 5 and, big deal, less than 19. Another way of thinking about that is that x is between 5 and 19. It can equal 5, it can't equal 19. Okay? Okay, and we'll have this be our last example. And this is written a little bit differently, but the AND is implied here. So remember what, what this means. 3x minus 5 is greater than minus 8 and less than or equal to 13. So the way we solve this is simply to add 5 all along, just like that. And what we get is a minus 3 is less than 3x 
is less than or equal to 18. Now I multiply by a third. Multiplying by a positive number, so the directions stay the same. And I get x is greater than minus 1, less than or equal to 6. And if I were going to draw that, here's 0, here's minus 1, here's 6. We're less than, we're greater than minus 1, less than or equal to 6. And that's how I graph that inequality. All right, so practice a little bit with your homework, and we'll be back on this the next day.